Hey, welcome back to Blar. Taking a look at my first castle panic. We're together, save the castle. It's a co-op game, family game, one to four players. Uh, it is fun, it's short, it's easy to learn. So let's check it out. So we have it set up already. It's easy set up, it's a one fold out board. Uh, you're gonna put together your castle wall and your castle itself. Just three pieces of cardboard. And they go here, on these spaces as you can see. Then we have our monster tokens, cards, and a dungeon. Object of the game, a group of monsters is racing out of the woods and towards your castle. Can you catch them in time? If the players catch all the monsters, they win. But if the monsters smash the castle flat, castle flat the players lose. All right, it's a co-op game. So when you set up this game, you're gonna find these three goblin tokens with a star on it, and these start already in play so we'll be here so we also have these handy uh, how the turn works how to play this is nice so you can keep those in front of you give your deck of hero cards we'll be using these hero cards to help defeat the monsters so that's set up Get your three. I was supposed to have a star. <laughs> That's the wrong goblin. So this is your your monster deck here. All right. So you place this to the side somewhere. That'll be your draw pile. So on your turn, play one card. Well, after setup, each player gets one card face up. Blue square. I have all these circles. That's my hero. How to play. Draw one card from the draw pile on your turn. Play one card from your hand or ask for help from another player. Then move monsters, draw one monster token. So on, say it's my turn, I'm gonna draw one card. So I have all these circles. So I can defeat this goblin. I could ask for help for the other player that uses a square to defeat this goblin. So it's my turn. They're gonna have a turn next. So I'm just gonna play this wild. It's kind of has three. It matches the circle. I can defeat the goblin. He goes in the dungeon. This discards. So after that's done, we move the monsters. They all move up one. And we draw from the monster deck. So it's a regular goblin came out. So he goes to the start. So the new monsters always go to the start space. And then play continues. Second player draw a card. So this is a, a kick card. So we can keep that. So there are some special cards here. Special card, it's a wall card, rebuilds. So let's find the wall card. So that's rebuild the wall. In case your wall gets knocked down, you can play this and it rebuilds that first wall there. The boot card lets you pick any monster on the board and boot it face down back into the monster pile, not the dungeon. So that's good. So if someone's getting too close, so if you have a monster all the way here and no one has any cards, no green squares, you can boot this back into the deck itself. So we'll go back into the monster pile. So these were all moved up, right? Just like that. There are special monsters. We have a shover. So after putting the shovel on the start space, move all the monsters, including the shovel, one more space closer to the castle. So you draw this guy. So he shoves everyone forward, including himself. Then we have the runner. This guy, so if you draw the runner, this monster is in a hurry. Instead of putting this monster at the start space, place it on the space in front of the monster closest to the castle. 
the closest mo monster is in front of the wall or castle, that means the runner hits the wall or castle. So he comes out, he runs all the way to the front. And then we have the marcher, this big guy. So after putting the marcher, excuse me, after putting the marcher on the start space, move all the monsters, including the marcher, one more space closer to the castle, then draw one more monster token, place it on the board. If you draw another special monster, follow those rules. So he's rough. He comes out, pushes everyone, including himself, and then you have to draw another monster and hope it's not special. So the board can fill up very quickly. Uh, the good thing about it being co-op, so on my turn I draw a card. And then say I didn't have any of these things on the board. So I'd ask this person, hey, can you kick this guy back into here because he's getting too close? Or you can just destroy the runner with a square, throw it in the dungeon. So choices to be made each time. So table talk is co-op. You're gonna look at everyone's cards are always face up, so you know who can ask who you can ask for help. Defeat all the monsters in the pack in the stack here, and you win the game. That's Castle Panic, or my first Castle Panic. It's a good game. I like it. It's fast. It's not overly complicated, and it's co-op, which is nice. And as simple as it seems, you can't lose because if, if these guys come out like back to back like, and there's like three or four, they just move everyone in and it's rough. That's a good game. If you're looking for an easy co-op game, I would definitely suggest Castle Panic or my first Castle Panic. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.